Now, who can relate to this? I'm going to read a comment out here. Chris Fisher said this, Alex, I've been trying to rotate more to offset my slice and end up with my chest and my belt buckle facing target. Remember that. I'm not getting the timing right and achieving one goal. My new problem is the shot goes to the left as my right shoulder um, really gives me poor alignment at that strike point. Help. Right. Now, as you know, this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and for any subscriber who is subscribed and turns their bell on, any questions you ask, we will help you improve your golf this summer. Right, Chris, let's get you sorted. So to settle this drill for Chris and you watching right now, I put the camera as if you are the flag or middle of fairway because I've got driver. So straight in that direction is where we're looking to hit this golf ball. I placed my yellow as my feet line, okay? But backwards on my ball to target line, I just placed an alignment stick straight in the ground. If you were at a driving range, you, you could just place basically a basket on the ground with the alignment stick in or just simply the basket. Just something as a reference point. So, Chris, let's bring it to life for you and everybody else what's happening. We'll stay just that inside. If we have a look at this, and I think we can all really relate to this, and I would say follow along from this point. So place that golf club across your chest. Make sure it's nice and square, just like that, right? Get into the position where you'd imagine you were giving it a big old tonk down the fairway. What Chris is saying is that he's trying to rotate his chest and belt buckle to target in order to counteract his slice. Now, part of this is correct, but just need to refine the timing a little bit. So if you look at this, if I had that perception of chest and belt buckle to target, look where my right shoulder goes, and that's illustrated by where my golf club is. It's fallen outside the line of that alignment stick, right? And if I carried that on, look where it's continuing, sort of left of where you're viewing. So the first stage is, is just to have a go at getting this to travel from inside this alignment stick a little bit better. So, how do you do that? Well, it's all about the timing and all about the sort of, the fancy golf club term uh, for a pro would be kinematic sequence, but we don't need to think about that. We just need to think about getting the lower to go than the upper to follow. It couldn't be any more simple than that. So, do you know what I'd say? Get your camera down, obviously, be careful putting it down the range, but if you can film it from that side, you can really see the difference. So, here you go. I'm gonna feel like I leave my chest pointing at this alignment stick for longer as I start down, okay? Now look where I've managed to get the club. You probably can't see the club head right now, and my shoulders look like they're pointing a little bit more to the right. Now swing that through. Look what space it comes through. It's coming through more of here, isn't it? Right? and not out and over there. So straight away, just by delaying this upper half, you're getting that club to travel in a different space. Okay, let's jump to down the line right now and bring this to life, this in my hands. So hopefully you've given that stage a go and I would really recommend giving that a go. You could even do that at home, right? Get the feeling of the events happening in a better sequence. So Chris and for everybody else, get this to go afterwards or just think about it. I want this club to stay this side of the alignment stick for longer. Right, you can keep this set up, but now let's put the golf club in our hands. What does this look like with the golf club in our hands? Because at the end of the day, that's the bit that matters. Before, this is where we were. Now, this is somewhere where we are. So I want you to hit some shots away, trying to avoid that alignment stick. Now in reality, we will never hit it, but it's just a great one to have as a marker in our peripheral vision to go at. So, what I would say for most of us, that if we start hitting some pulls, that's not too much of a bad thing, but what we're looking to do is get that ball to maybe travel a little bit straighter and start a little bit straighter. So start line's key. Not starting over here, starting a little bit straighter. And little marginal gains is where we're looking to do with this. Right. Okay, so just get that feeling of, right, through that space. And look at the difference. Look at that slow-mo. You can really see 
that my ability to get the club to travel through this space and sort of drop the club in here because this right shoulder and ball perception of chest and hips to shoulder isn't my trigger. It's chest stays, point on the alignment stick, I can drop it in and release it. Just one final point on this video. Just make sure your grip is not super weak because if you start swinging to the right with a super weak grip, so look at the screen now. This would be a weak grip on this picture. This is more like a stronger grip over me now. We want to be a little bit more towards a stronger grip because if you swing to the right with a weak grip, you can wave goodbye to that ball going considerably out to the right for the majority of golfers. Thanks so much for watching. I know this will help you improve and don't forget to subscribe and get your questions down below.